Okay, so today we're going to tackle this ice cream parlor. And uh, we see a few different things going on. I see some sea extrusions right here for the walls. Um, we have a shape that's been extruded right here for the seats. It looks like a chamfer box. This is a little support. It's probably just some, we could probably do a little 2D shape and extrude it for that. Same with this. So a lot of 2D shapes and extrusions. Uh, looks like we're going to use a twist modifier on top. So let's go ahead and get started with um, this model. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to our create tab and then I'm going to go from standard primitives to extended primitives and choose the C extrusion and then I'm going to make this C extrusion I guess the best way to do it would be probably I'll just do it like this and I'll make it and then I'll just modify it when I'm done let me grab that okay so this kind of grabbed it and dragged it in three directions not worrying about what direction I'm doing it in and then I'm just going to flip it up with my rotate command go to the bottom of the screen you see it says negative 77 point whatever 90 negative 90 is what you want that'll get it up nice and straight like we want it and uh, now we need to modify this to match this shape right here so it's going to have to be a little bit skinnier and a little bit taller so let's go ahead and go to the modify tab and look at some of our our um, sizes on that so we have a front and a back length a side length and um, width down here so instead of 66 let's try 50 okay that'll make it shorter so we're gonna go up to let's go 150 and that's probably pretty good so we'll do the back length and front length at 150 so they match and then on the side length let's try to change that to 60 and we'll just kind of come in with it until it looks a little bit better instead of 60 let's try like 40 and we're getting a little bit closer to the proportions that we want now and uh, the one thing though is on the height well the thickness we can change to come to think of it it's actually pretty close to what we want so I'll just make this 9 and hit tab and a 9 and hit tab and hit 9 and now the height will be actually you know, what direction it goes you know front to back so instead of 34 let's go 100 and um, I think we're pretty close to what we want it to be now let's take a look one more time probably could be a little bit closer so instead of 40 let's go 30 now I think we have something that we can work with let's change that color to blue because I think that's what it's supposed to be oh, it's not really a dark blue it's a lighter blue so I'll change that all right, good enough. So this is one of the sides of our um, booth that we're making. I think I'm going to go to 150 instead, and I think that gives us a little more room to work with. Okay, so we have that. Go ahead and move this. I'm going to move this to zero it out and go from there. So we have one of these things, but when we look at the model, there's going to be more than one. So there's one here, one here, and there's something along the back. So what I'm going to do is take this one, hit Control V, and click Copy, and hit OK. And then I can just, in the top viewport, just kind of move it over a little bit. So it looks more, if I drag them both and select them, you can kind of see about how far we want them apart. I think I'm going to uh, go even further apart there. That's probably pretty good. Oh, maybe a little bit more. I'll just type it in instead of that. I'll type in 250. I think we're pretty good uh, with that. Uh, we need to have a back to this booth. So what I'm going to do with that is I'll just take one of these. And I'll copy it. And hit OK. And then I'll rotate it. And I'll just rotate it in this viewport. So it's going perpendicular. So I'll make that 0. And there we go. And then we're going to want to... Uh, adjust it so instead of typing in one oh, hyping 150 let's go a thousand and now we have this uh, really long section that we can then kind of put behind here and I don't really care how long it goes because when you when you render it it'll just kind of go off the screen and then we can probably do um, yeah that's good enough we'll go from there so we have our basically the, the walls are included in this booth 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and tackle the actual seats. So in the front viewport, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to do the bottom part of it. So let's make this viewport bigger so I can see what I'm doing. And let's see how tall it is. And I'll take one more peek at it. And what I'm going to do is just part on the bottom here, which looks like a little bit of an angle. Straight on the back and an angle. So I will draw with a line. And I'm going to come out a little bit. And uh, something like that. Come out and then come straight in. And connect it. And we drew that 2D, and what we're going to want to do with that shape while it's still selected, go to our modifier list, and we're just going to extrude it. I want to say the amount should be, I forget what I did, I think it was 150. Yeah, 150, and that uh, lines it up pretty well. I want to say it's going to be black. And now next... We are going to do the seat, this white part right here, the seat. And again, we're going to use 2D shapes. Go to my line tool and, whoop, not wrong viewport, sorry. I want to go to my front viewport and then I'll make it bigger. And then get my lines and then I'll start drawing this. So just start on the bottom. I come straight out on top of this. And then making sure I'm on Bezier Curve, I'm just going to kind of click this to hold on to the button. This might take you a few shots to get it the way you want it. Uh, click back in this way. And something like that. And I come out for this cushion a little bit. Round it over. There. And I'm just going to go to this point and then straight down. Connect it. And then we have the cushion. Of course, we have to uh, extrude this. So I go to my uh, geometry tab. Go to, um, rather, I'm sorry. I need to go to my modifier tab and then go to extrude. All right. And since the last one was 150, it automatically made that one 150. So we have the cushion and the bottom of the seat for the booth. We're going to want to take these two things by selecting them. And I'm going to hold control down and select the bottom. And I just want to do a mirror and hit copy, hit OK. Go to my move tool and then I'll move the other one over to the other side. You can kind of see that in the front viewport. There we go. So, so far we have the seats now and we have to make a table. And I can adjust this if, if there's not enough leg room or whatever, I can adjust it later. So, next I have to make some kind of a support. I'm going to go to my, my shapes and I'm going to use a line. And then I'm going to make a support for the table. So I think I'm going to do it in this viewport. And if this, all these lines will represent like the cushion. So I'm going to be kind of below that. And then I'll just kind of go up a little bit, curve it up, come straight back in, and then go down. That wasn't straight at all. So let me delete that and start again. I'm going to start right here. Go about, I don't know, a little bit more than halfway through this booth. Curve it up. Click. Come straight in. Of course, remember the table will sit on top of this thing. And then connect it. Yes. And then I immediately want to get out of this viewport. And I want to... Um, extrude it. I don't know where I drew it actually so I need to move it since I was looking in this viewport. There we go. You can see where it is now. It's kind of in, in between there now. And I want to modify extrude. Use this extrude a lot. 150 is going to be way too much so I'm going to go let's go about 25 see how that looks. Um, 
Oh, that's too thick. So I'll go back to 15, maybe even 10, and I think that'll work. And it looks like it's going to be like a dark brown, something like that. That'll work. Even if it's a little bit off in the color, I think we're fine. And this, we really want this to be kind of right in the middle of these two things. And then we want to make the table. So the table is, looks like just a green chamfer box. So I'm going to go to my extended primitives. I'm going to go to chamfer box. And then I will, in this top viewport, I'll just kind of draw the table. Let me see, it overlaps the seats a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And so I'll just kind of draw it like that. Come up a little bit and then curve it a little bit. And then I'm going to make it green-ish there. And then I can adjust it because I can see it's not going to be right. It's going to be too low. It's there's no room for your legs there. So we need to move everything up. So I'm going to move it up. And then I need to move the support up to match it. There we go. And uh, something like that. Let me see if I have enough leg room according to the model we were given. I could move it out a little bit. So to move it out a little bit, I'm just going to choose this wall, hold the control button down, choose the seat, choose the base, and we'll just move them out a little bit more, give them a little bit more leg room. There we go. And then we can take this guy, hold control, click this, move them over. And I think we're pretty close to um, what we want this to be. Let me take another look. Yeah, I think the table needs to be a little wider, maybe. Go to my modify, and um, I think this is the one controlling the width. It was. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we have all that stuff done. One more thing we have to do here is we need to um, do these little curvy things. And all that's going to be is just go to our standard primitives and choose the box. And in the top viewport, I'm going to draw. Actually, I can just do it in perspective and move it. I'll just draw a little box and go up. There we go. So, obviously, this box is going to be too big for what we're making. So, I'm going to get it over to the right place, and then I'm going to change it. So, for one, we need to move it up. And it's it's just too big for what we made. It's going to be much smaller. So, I'm going to go to my modify. And instead of 32 by 17, let's try 15 by 15. See how that looks. And if you look in this viewport where the blue part is, if we look at this, it's a little bit wider than how wide that wall is. We have the two of them side by side on the wall. So when I look at this, this is still too big. So I'm going to change this to maybe 10 by 10. And then on the height, uh, let's go to 50. It's just going to kind of go off the screen. I think it goes off the screen. Yeah, it goes off the screen. So that's fine. And it's going to be red. And now one more thing we need to do to this which is we need to put a twist modifier on it. Now, your segments right now, mine say 10, 10, 10. You probably say this. Okay, I just did a model previously, and I didn't, you know, I didn't reset. So it's, it's going to have the same parameters. So I'm going to change that to 10, 10, 10, because if we don't, when we do our modifier, it's not going to come out very good. And now this modifier is the first time we're using this uh, modifier in a model is the twist modifier and I'm gonna go for angle 700 and that'll just make the thing just kinda of twist around as you can see like a like a twizzler you get it to move it there or something like that and I'm gonna move it down a little bit to get it the right height um, I don't need to go so crazy tall so let's go down to about 150 that's probably better I just want it to be normal uh, hi. Okay, so that is one of them, but we need a bunch of them, don't we? So I'm going to take this and copy it. So I hit Control V and copy, and I'm going to move it over. So they're both on there. And let's take, see the model. That's about right. So then we have those two. And how many do we need to get? It looks like there's one, two, three, four, 
four sets of them going front to back. Four sets of them going front to back. So I will take these two. Let me just modify this. Okay. And look at the top viewport. Hold control, select the other one. Control V on your keyboard, which will copy it. And then we're going to supposed to do four of them. So I'll go to there. And then that I have these ones, I can hold control and do four at a time. Actually, let me move them back a little more if I'm going to do that. Move it back to about there. That's pretty good. You could take the time and figure out how the actual distance between them, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to hit Control V and copy them. Now we've got four of them to copy, and now we have have it looking pretty good. Let's look at it in whoops in the perspective. There we go. And then we want them on the other side, so let's go ahead and hold Control. Let's do all of these at the same time. And I'm going to hit Control V, copy, and I'm just going to move all of these guys over here to the other side. That's pretty good. Oh, we're not in the right place. I need to go all the way over here to the wall. I'm kind of floating right now. There we go. Couldn't see it that well. There you can see now in the perspective what we have. So we have those. Um, and if you look at this picture, it looks like there's these little twisty things in the back also. So what I can do is I can just take a row of them, hold control, click them, click them, click them, control V, and I'll copy it. And then I'll take all these guys I just copied up here, and then I'll rotate them. I want to make them straight if we can. There we go, something like that. And then I'll take these and I will move them so they're kind of behind the booth. I can hit Control V while they're still selected. And I can go beyond this, kind of space them out. And then I can do all of these at the same time. If we're doing it, let's say we were doing a larger ice cream parlor. I'm just going to take all of that stuff and copy it and make it go beyond this. Maybe a little bit more over. That's probably better. And then I'll go the other way with it. Control V copy. And then I'll move them this way. Then we have all our twisty things done. And then what we can do is we can make a bunch of more booths if we want to. So I can take all of this stuff in the top viewport, all this stuff in here. And I can hit Control V, copy, OK. And I can move a booth over here on this side. You can see what's going on there in the um, perspective. And then I can Control V, copy again, and move a booth on this side. Then we have like a whole bunch of booths. And then I can maximize, whoops, let's get in this perspective and make it big. Zoom out a little bit. And this is kind of sort of what the model looks like, I think. There we go. I'm a little zoomed out more, but that's okay. And what's the background? I think they do a white background. We can go ahead and do that if it's not already changed. Rendering environment, we will change to, instead of black, we'll make it white. Hit OK. Then I will render it and there well looks like it's we're too close so i'm gonna zoom out or zoom in a little bit there we go something like that so there is your completed ice cream booth i hope you enjoyed the lesson